Welcome back to the channel, Crypto Tro. Back with another video, man. And today, man, I'm telling you why I'm investing in cryptos and why I believe a lot of people should start adding cryptos to their portfolio, even if it's just small amounts. And this is another crypto portfolio in Uitro. And this is my small, I want to say my Deegan portfolio. Uh, it's not really, I wouldn't necessarily just say too digging ish. Uh, we don't have, you know, too many uh, crazy plays in this. But at the same time, it's still being a digging because we don't know what's going on with these assets in the long run. But we are trying to predict the future, man. So I'm just giving you an inside scope of my thinking behind everything. And I also just want to be very transparent and show you guys that you can build. A crypto portfolio with small amounts of money and just watch your assets appreciate now this is you know very 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 volatile and like i said in the beginning we truly don't know what's going to happen with cryptos in the long run what assets will be there you know 15 years 20 years from now but the chances at gaining you know getting some of these gains are exponential and you don't necessarily have to have, you know, a lot of liquidity and a lot of money to make the big gains in the crypto space. So I want to let you know, before we get into it, I am not a financial advisor whatsoever. This is just me showing you the cryptos that I personally invest in or find interest in. So if you want a financial advisor, consult with somebody before going too deep into the crypto space. And I want to let you know, also, never invest anything that you can't lose. Don't invest the house note, the car note, um, any bill money. Make sure bills are paid. Make sure everything is paid up. Um, so you can use that leftover money to invest small amounts on these dips and just watch your assets appreciate. And I'm going to go over my crypto portfolio and also show a video of why I believe you should continue to buy Bitcoin, but not only Bitcoin, you can diverse and, you know, do, you know, small percentage of your portfolio, maybe one to three percent in these Deegan plays, man, because it's so much money out there to be made, especially in good projects, especially once we hit the bull market and we are still super, super early in the crypto space. The crypto space is in its infancy, man. And a lot of people, you know, try to disregard that but that's simply what it is like we're still uh crypto if we wanted to look at it on just like a lifelong thing or a lifeline thing it's still pretty much like a teenager so it's going to act like a teenager it's going to be volatile it's going to make erratic movements but once we see more and more people come into the space it's going to be less volatile and also uh, the gains that you could have received when it was volatile are not going to be there. So I always tell people get into something early, like the earlier you are. I won't say the early because sometimes you can get in too early and you know lose your money. But right now, I believe Bitcoin is a safe bet. So right now we're looking at my Exodus portfolio. Um, my portfolio is at 385 or 384, just round up to 385. And we can see in the past 24 hours, I gained ten dollars. Uh, my highest balance was 3746, and that was like last um, bull market. But like I said, I really haven't been using this uh, wallet, I just wanted to use it for this particular series, the crypto portfolio series. A lot of people ask me what I invest in, and these are some of the you know safest plays. So, right now, we see I got. 14 AVAX at $254, and it is 66% of my portfolio. I really want to bring that down. Um, like I said, this is a digging portfolio, so I'm not keeping all of my Bitcoin in this particular one. But just for the sake of the videos, I do want to start adding more Bitcoin to this portfolio. So when people watch it, um, they know it is a, the safest bet uh, in crypto. Bitcoin and ETH is pretty much, you know, those two safe bets. Now, um, especially over time because we've seen Bitcoin, you know, always dip and it comes back up. And right now, Bitcoin is at 30000 So right now, I got like $49 in this particular portfolio, which is 12% uh, of, of the entire portfolio. Then we got OMT, like I said in my other videos. I bought that like two years ago, man. I don't even know. I just never sell, sold it. So I won't really count that. XRP, that was probably one of my first crypto plays ever. 
um, that's 5%. Then we got ETH, which is 5%. Now, I do want to also up my status in ETH as far as, you know, just balancing my portfolio because me personally, if this wasn't a digging portfolio, Bitcoin would most likely be at least 50% of the entire portfolio. And in my, you know, my real portfolio where I keep out my Bitcoin is pretty much the only asset or crypto asset I have in that particular portfolio but like i said this is for all of my diggings out there man and i know there's not even the true diggings because i know a lot of people they'll say tro why you don't go to the decentralized portion of things and you know buy the smaller plays you know market caps you know right under 100 million you know 10 million dollar market caps but i want to play it safe man because i am putting this out there for the people and i and i think these assets will you know appreciate over over the years to come so i want to make sure you know everybody's kind of you know even though we've been a digging i want to make sure everybody's you know safe and feel good about the portfolio picks especially if they looking at what i'm doing now like i said this is not financial advice but this is just you know showing what some of my crypto portfolio is looking like so let's get to the good stuff man this is why i'm still investing in crypto let's talk about it Back at least for now. Bitcoin's recent winning streak is hitting its biggest milestone yet, back above 30,000 for the first time since last June. If you're not paying attention, you should be. Bitcoin is up more than 80% so far this year, and it's not alone. Other popular cryptos like Ethereum and Binance Coin are scoring big as well. Even the meme favorite Dogecoin is in the green this year and briefly took over as the Twitter symbol. But is the bull run here to stay? Let's bring in Bitcoin Magazine's head of market research, Dylan LeClaire. Dylan, welcome on. Um, why is Bitcoin, listen, it was, it was at 60,000 a year and a half ago, so we are down by half still, but why the recent run? Hey, Brian, uh, nice to talk to you. Yeah, the recent run, I mean, let's, let's go through it. The story is completely unchanged here for Bitcoin, right? Every four years, Bitcoin, the fraud, the leverage, it gets, it gets completely wiped out. 2022 was an awful year. Uh, I mean, why is Bitcoin rallying? Well, there's no more sellers, right? It's quite simple. Uh, the supply held for one year, two years, and three years is at all-time high, 67, 53, and 40%. Right, it's a it's a completely inelastic supply relative to demand, and there's a growing group of price agnostic accumulators that buy every single day. It's that simple. It's a matter of flows. Uh, certainly, our equity markets and bond markets and volatility do they play do they play into this? Of course mm. they do. And Bitcoin's increasingly a macro asset. Uh, but the, what SV, SVB showed, what the depegging of USDC showed, what the Fed's BTFP program yeah, what showed, is that? B, yeah, that seems like a BSD I mean, in some ways. So I, I don't know like how I, I, I can this, say that. I think I all, how big of a deal the, is this? It seems like the government wants to create its own Bitcoin. <laughs> well, I wouldn't go that far because they can't create another Bitcoin. You know because, what? I, but you, you get the, the general direction, right? A lot of our audience yes. is not Bitcoin experts. Neither is this anchor, by the way. <laughs> no, that's that's okay. Uh, I think ultimately the story here is that Bitcoin's rallying. I mean, along with other cryptos, right? But if you're looking. The other cryptos are bleeding relative to Bitcoin, and that wasn't the story during the bull run for much of uh, 2022. These are bleeding out relative to Bitcoin as Bitcoin is pumping here. Something is happening, and what's happening is people realize they want to hold something that they don't have to trust anybody. They don't want to trust a stablecoin. They don't want to trust a crypto protocol or a developer. They want to hold a decentralized monetary asset with no counterparty risk. That's the story. That's been the story since 2010. And then more people are just coming to realize it. I, gotta, Patrick, I, gotta, not... I, gotta, I think I got to correct you, Dylan. It's been the story since 2010 BC. You almost just described <laughs> gold. I almost did, except gold, unfortunately, you can't send over a smartphone in 30 seconds within the world uh, for, th for about a half a penny, right? So, so that's why in a digital age, Bitcoin wins. And not to have a gold versus Bitcoin debate because we could be here for hours. Oh, yeah. Well, right? and you're going to generate but, all kinds of people coming out of Twitter. You just closets people are under the, but the, under reason, the bent mattress they're popping their heads out the reason that gold right the reason that you know seven billion people use fiat currency today is because gold inherently has trust in that loop right you have to trust a bank you have to trust a central bank you have to trust intermediary a gold-backed token right is just it's an oxymoron there's nothing backing it except trust right so with bitcoin you don't have to trust anybody you verify right that's the breakthrough here that's the breakthrough of what bitcoin is and people are just you know slow to, to understand this it's fine it's an education thing but that's what's that's what's unfolding. So Bitcoin, can it, where is it going to go next week, tomorrow? I don't know. Next month, yeah. no one knows. But the story here, it's a, it's a decade long story. It's going to be true for the next two. I think yeah, we got century. we got to go. But I, I think Bitcoin's had like ten 
or more 80% declines in its in its history or something. You don't, you know, quote me on the stat, but I'm directionally correct. Dylan, thank you very much. Appreciate it. Learned a lot. Thanks, Brian. Appreciate it. All right, Brian. So that is just showing, man, Bitcoin is going crazy even no matter what people say. Like, people can say whatever they want to say about Bitcoin, about uh, cryptocurrency, but we see the asset continues to appreciate every four years man it can dip down like i said we still in the infancy of cryptocurrencies but who cares man over 20 years we're gonna see bitcoin maybe not maybe it's gonna hit a million dollars maybe not in the next 20 or or 30 years but in this lifetime in you know within 100 years i'm telling you bitcoin will hit a million dollars and i'm telling you next bull market bitcoin might even hit you know that 100k mark because you know it was just shy of it uh the last bull market but i'm expecting to see this next one in 2024 when we get full on um everything is going back up bitcoin is going to hit new all-time highs and everybody's going to be like what's going on but the people the true believers in the blockchain and bitcoin it's going to show that, you know, they were right all along. So that's my video for today, Crypto Cho. Make sure you tune in for another video of my crypto portfolio. Um, and I'm just going to keep it pumping, man. Keep it showing you guys, like, it doesn't take a lot of money in a crypto space. You can dollar cost average whatever you can afford to lose. So if you buy, like, coffee every day or you go out to eat every single day, maybe one day you might just say, man, let me not go out to eat let me put that money towards investing in the crypto space and if you lose it so what like this is just like you losing uh the money by eating bad foods or or spending on something that you know won't appreciate that will just depreciate over time but we know cryptocurrencies and bitcoin will continue to rise and go up now not every single project will be at the top but the ones that continue to develop and you actually have use case for it in the real world is going to appreciate in the long term. So, Crypto Troll, that's my video. I'm out of here.